avant-garde. Yes, I think that. Thank you, Sir Straw Hat. That that is the word I was looking for. Because the whole idea of we don't know what it is it sounds like some kind of art house idea. Oh, there you go. No, 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 move it all the way to the right. There you go. Sometimes I just have a compulsion to move it the wrong way. Ugh, I know that feeling. You know, it's it's one of those feelings that when you're watching somebody play a puzzle game of some sort and you know what pieces, like, where to put them and everything, but when you're in that position, you don't think straight. It's it's a performance anxiety thing. It is. It's a huge performance you anxiety. You are more likely to notice patterns and stuff when you are an observer rather than when you are the one taking action because you don't have to split your attention between um, the action and doing the action and thinking. Ah! Yeah. Huh, you finally kicked his ass. Damn, he was a bitch. I think audience probably want it, but marketing teams don't want to because they don't want to take risks. But, but you know, that goes back to my point of mass marketing kind of conditions us to our expectations. I, I can, I can, uh, I just, I'm starting to look into more of what Eve, uh, Peter's coming from. They're too comfortable, and they're trying to remain comfortable without trying. Can I have a sip of your brisk? Because I've been yeah, talking go ahead. for so long, my voice is getting ragged. Yeah, it's a sad thing. Um, and remember, folks, if you enjoy conversations like this, or, you know, uh, watching Brett stream, and you want him to have the, um, you know, the financial means to invest in more streaming and making his streams better, be sure to uh, donate or sub or gift subs or send bits, you know, yeah. or, or follow, you know, all that good stuff. It, it supports him. You know, he has a Patreon and all that because, you know, he, I mean, you are saving up funds for a new computer. So yeah. A gaming PC, which will. And the donation would definitely help. And it would, de and it would make, um, you know, make stuff like that more feasible so he can play more games, have a wider array. We have a proper switch now, so he actually could have the opportunity to uh, stream uh, switch games with that gaming PC. Yeah, I could imagine playing Smash Brothers and all kinds of stuff with uh, like other people who have the game. You could actually play Pokemon Sword and Shield on stream. I have yet to like play more of that game. <laughs> um, but, you know, th there's a bunch of uh, stuff. I know that I'm going to be streaming Pokemon Snap once I get the game. I remember Pokemon Snap po back I on the... I grew up with Pokemon Snap. Yeah, no, I remember when um, my brother and I, we rented Pokemon Snap, and we would have so much fun with what, whatever shit we would throw at, like, Charmanders or other did, kinds of Pokemon coming up. Did you see the uh, trailer for the new Pokemon Snap? Probably not. I know that it's there and that it's a thing. They had it at the um, Pokemon 25th showcase where they introduced the Diamond and Pearl remakes and also the new um, Pokemon... Arceus game that they're going to be releasing that's actually an open world Pokemon game. Well, thank you for the 500 bits. Yep. That's for keeping me awake at 530. <laughs> it's your fault for time zones, but... Oof. But the point is, um, the new Pokemon Snap game looks fantastic. They added this new, uh, you can go underwater. There, there's a new mechanic where um, you can actually make the Pokemon glow. What do I do? What do I do? Crap. Also, with Pokemon Online, you can actually post up your images for p other people to see. Mm -hmm. You can add filters and stickers and stuff to it. So essentially like Pokemon Instagram. And from what I see, there's more legendaries than just Mew because in the trailer they had Celebi. So I don't know if they're going to have more than just Mew. And they're going to have like up to the gen, what are we in now, gen 6 level of uh, legendaries, but it it definitely, uh, it looks fantastic. And I cannot wait to get it. <laughs> How many creatures of Pokemon are there now? Like, over a thousand, I think. I would presume so, that's a shitload of Pokemon. Uh, if someone can, uh... Sadly, no shiny Pokemon in new Pokemon Snap. I mean, that they are they do are giving you the ability to make them glow in the dark. So, but um, crap, crap, crap. Can you? Crap. But the uh. Oh damn it! Did There's you guys no... see the printer that you can get? That they they're making a Switch printer. Oh, that's sick! I need it. 
Dude, imagine if they made like a Switch camera like the Game Boy camera. Do you do you remember um, at Blockbusters they sometimes would have printers that you could print out like stuff from your Game Boy? I think that's when uh, the Game Boy uh, camera was a thing. I that, know, but instead of like getting the um, the, the, printer, the individual the, printer, the, um, they, you could print stuff up at uh, at Blockbuster. I don't think I wouldn't know about it. Like, but I won't be I wouldn't be surprised if there actually was. Oh, they're at like nine hundred. Yeah. Fuck! 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 I mean, fuck! Fuck! Come on! With the 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 <sighs> thing that sets apart um this new the Galar region of Pokemon from the newer from, uh -huh. from the other games is that they're incrementally introducing new Pokemon instead of like having all the Pokemon at once because like new Galarian forms are coming out and and them committing to this new regional Pokemon thing they actually have new evolutions for Kanto Pokemon that are, mm -hmm. like, Galarian-specific. Like, there is, um, there's a new evolution for Meowth, if you, if you, uh, evolve it to a Galarian, mm -hmm. uh, called Perserker. <laughs> um, and there's a new, uh, Mr. Mime evolution. Oh, called God. Called Mr. Rhyme. Mr. So, so, they are introducing more. The total Pokemon is 898. Jiminy Shit! Uh, yeah. God, like, how many creatures are in our world compared to the fictional world of Pokemon? Jeez. Okay, still billions if you count bugs. But, um... <laughs> but, yeah, the... I'm excited for new Pokemon Snap. I'm ex I'm genuinely excited for a lot of the stuff that they're showcasing with Pokemon. I feel like people are hating on the aesthetic of the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes um, because the, um... They truly translated uh, the, the sprites of that era of Pokemon to 3D. Wait, is that the one where they have like characters that look like toy blocks? Yeah, kind of like uh, Link's they're, Awakening. They're chip, yeah, basically. Oh my god! But it's... I like I like that aesthetic. Dude, I like that aesthetic when they did the remake of Link's Awakening. I'm like, I, I feel like it works because the the style of the original sprites. I I, I see people equating it to those. Um, me Sims uh, games that came out. And I, I mean, I, sure, they're comparable, but I don't, I don't think so. I feel like they are a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the shovelware games that people keep equating them to. But you know, I, I think we honestly, the a lot of the Pokemon community, in my opinion, is a, a little bit entitled. Yeah, they can be full of shit, can't they? As many as other people in fandoms are, because people have been yeah. people have been begging for Sinnoh remakes for years, and we finally get them, and you're still not happy. Yeah, it's just it's one of those things where if you know, like, even if you try to appeal to somebody and you get them what they want, it's one of a few things: either they still find something to complain about, or they'll call it damage control. I mean, there's also, like, um, at least the thing that I'm seeing is that people are genuinely excited for the, like, the open-world Pokemon game, which is really interesting because it's, um, you are making the new Pokedex, and the starter Pokemon are, oh, actually, shit. are actually starter Pokemons from different regions. Like, it's Cyndaquil, Oshawott, and, um, like, Rowlet. Okay. So it's not, like, um, and it's back in the day, so you have, like... Do you remember the Pokemon movie where uh, it had young Professor Oak and it had like the old-fashioned Pokeballs? No. So you're you're basically not in modern day Pokemon, and it's and it looks it, it looks like you know Breath of the Wild Pokemon, and I am down for that. <laughs> well, Key, was that Long Island accent? Well, yes, because I'm from Long Island. Ha! In your face. You know, moving on to Pixar. Um, something I'm kind of intrigued about like i wouldn't say excited but i open to the idea um pixar's making a movie specifically about buzz lightyear like his actual light yeah I, I i like that i mean i'm more excited for luca coming out this year i'm definitely willing to I see get that the italian representation i deserve because we're finally getting a movie about italians where they're not mob bosses or lazy union people <laughs> I'm so excited, and you have proper, like, characters that look Sicilian, and it's from one of my favorite people that work at Pixar, because it made one of my favorite Pixar shorts of all time, La Luna, with, which, I don't know if you remember La Luna, it was about that family that, like, rakes stars off the moon. Mm-hmm. 
It's such a beautiful short. This guy's style is so unique. It's so different looking than the usual Pixar style, and I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I, I am so excited. I love it. But, um, what was I saying? You know, okay, I have a question for you. Okay. What is your favorite Kanto starter Pokemon between Bulbasaur, Charmander, and Squirtle? Oh, fuck. Um, it, it's kind of difficult to answer. Like, um, and, and chat, I mean, you guys are free to say your favorite starter from each generation. I think Brett only went up to Sinnoh, I'm guessing. Uh, there was Red and Blue, Gold and Silver, uh, Ruby and Sapphire, which, ironically enough, I enjoyed that one because of the uh, visual upgrades compared to the Game Boy versions. Mm -hmm. But I also had like a bit of a rotten experience for things in which I'm not going to go over too much of a tirade over. Mm -hmm. um, what about Pokemon Emerald? Did you go up to Pokemon Emerald? I did play Pokemon Emerald, and I was actually having a better time playing that one than I was with Ruby. Well, okay, what about... So, your first-gen starter, was it, I'm guessing, Charmander? Ah, uh, My memory's pretty vague. I mean, uh, didn't you have Pokemon Red and your brother had Pokemon Yeah, I had Red, he had Blue. Uh, there and, were times I restarted yeah. the game a couple of times, and I lost track of what they were. I imagine your brother took Squirtle, because... To I, fill in the Pokédex. I, I mean, we have his old Pokemon cards, and that Blastoise card is very played with. <laughs> Compared to the Char Charizard, which I am so shocked about. Oh yeah, no, that Charizard even though, is... Even though, when you look at the stats of the original Base 1 Charizard card, its stats are kinda shit. <laughs> like, its attacks hurt itself. But, um, but if you had to pick one of the Kanto starters now, what would you pick? That's, that's really hard to answer, I because mean, I, I each... I my answer. <laughs> Because each one has a catch-22. If you get a, a water Pokemon, yeah, you can have no problem going through, facing through Geodude and Onyx. But you also have to fight water with water with Misty. Uh, but then there's the third uh, the gym member who is more relegated to ele um, electric Pokemon. And water's weak to that. So, I mean, but at that point, when you get to those gyms, you have more than just your starter. True. Um... The game kind of expects you to rely on your main Pokemon, uh, your starter Pokemon, yeah. which is kind of weird. But uh, with Charma uh, Charmander, who evolves into Charizard, you not only get the ability to fly, but you have a badass dragon, and I put those in quotes because it's not really the type, it's just, it's it's turned into a flying Pokemon. Um, do, do you have just one based off aesthetic reasons? Uh, which one you just think is cuter? <laughs> God, I don't have a solid answer for Cause, that. Because my answer has and will always be Bulbasaur. I love Bulbasaur, two bits, and I will hurt anyone that says otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh, look, people are actually listening in the chat. So Blue Griffin's uh, fave starters are Charmander, then Tot Totodile is a very rare choice, I see. Uh, Torchic, Piplup, Snivy, Fennekin, Rowlet, and Score Bunny. Damn it! No, uh. Uh, uh, Blue, you are in the minority. I do not remember a lot of people picking Totodile as their starter. Um, Didn't they mostly go for Chikorita or uh, Cyndaquil? Oh, ch no, it was um, it was Cyndaquil. Oh yeah, Chikorita. Sorry. Yeah, that's part of Gen Two. Yeah, sorry. I, I, Chikorita sounds like a fire type name. <laughs> Cyndaquil is a fire type. I know, Fuck. No, I know Cyndaquil. When you say the name Chikorita, it doesn't it doesn't radiate a grass type compared to something like cold a sore but Damn it. you know that's that's mine uh i'm just gonna scroll um so let's see magicals is charmander thank you for hosting princess earthy uh magical is charmander then chikorita then trico then piplup then oshawott then froki then litten then sobble you know what, Magical? I respect you for picking Sobble. We love our crying, crying frog boy. Um, then we have... We have Ren Renaki, who says Bulbasaur, Syndical, Trico, Chimchar, Oshawa, Fennekin, Paplio, I love you! And Grookey. Um, these are all really... These are all really eclectic choices. I I respect that. Um... <laughs> My personal ones are Bulbasaur, Cyndaquil, mm -hmm. love Cyndaquil, then uh, 
Torchic. No, 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 Mudkip, Mudkip, Mudkip. I love Mudkip. My second playthrough of those games, I did Torchic. Then, um, Hiplup, Oshawott. Mm-hmm. Um, oh God. Fennekin. Then Rowlet, but I love Pop Papilo. And then, uh, Sobble. Those, those are mine. Yeah.